Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video. I gotta give a huge shout out to, uh, dear God, I'm sorry, I'm seeing new messages pop up on Discord and I'm like, I have to read them. A huge shout out to Morpheus on the Lith Archive uh, Discord server and website because he gave me access to a res mod bypass that I don't believe he's released to anybody else so I'm not going to be giving it out myself as it's not mine but I did get res mods working finally instead of you know earlier on my fucking stream with that I realized my big headache mistake was I never ran the updater so all my files were out of date that's why it wasn't working but that's all fixed now we're gonna get started I figured I'd actually start with something a little bit more advanced uh, just to show where these tutorials could go versus where they are now or doing something super basic. So we're today we're going to be modding a file called STM child. So STM child is a file that basically holds all the animation information for male characters in combat arms. So you're going to want to go to the Crossfire section of MPGH. Eventually we'll get this posted on Lith Archive probably. Uh, but you're going to want to download the LTB to LTA uh, model unpacker. It's way better than LTB to LTA ever was. It comes with a readme for how to use it. You can see it right here. That's how you uh, unpack it. And then this is how you repack it. So uh, I think. No, duh, I'm an idiot. That's not how you repack it. Use model edit. Did you see how badly my brain just fucked itself? I'm sorry for the swearing. I'm not going to bleep that. So you're going to want to open up the STM child. As you can see here, it is a big file. It might take a second. I should have probably done this before uh, <laughs> starting the recording. Um, that, that shows my brightness. Anyway, oh wow, this is so much faster than my old PC. So we're gonna create VJump today. VJump is a mod that basically takes the camera of your player while you're in game and shoots it way up into the sky so you can see everybody. This is a great mod if you also have a DLL injected um, to combine it with something like Super Bullets because then you can just shoot anyone anywhere on the map, which I guess with Super Bullets you can too, but if you're using this also on something like Snow Valley, where those stupid camper snipers like to sit across the map, uh, you can try to just get really simple headshots using this and still probably hit them, as long as you're sitting in a spot that looks somewhat legitimate. So first of all, you have to go in and you need to find the animation for crouching. And these are all like reload animations. Here you go, here's crouching. So LCF is moving forward. We want the one that's simply for staying put. So what you're gonna do with this animation is you're going to go to animation, you're gonna go to dimensions, and as you can see, it lowers the Y value when you start using the animation. So when you're standing, your Y value is set to 50. When you're crouched, your Y value is set to 40 because you're slightly lower. Oh Jesus, I just reversed the animation. That doesn't matter. So what we're gonna actually wanna do is we wanna shoot this way up into the sky. So we're gonna do, I wanna do 69 because of the meme. I'm not gonna do 69 because it's not high enough. So we're gonna do 138, which is 69 times two. Hold on. Yes, 69 times two is 138, sorry. I am not good at math. So we're gonna apply that, click done, and that's actually all you need to do. If you want to, and you wanna stay that high in the air, simply edit the forward animation, 138, done, and the back animation, 138, done and then you can also do the left and right and then these are the diagonals so actually what you could do is just select that anything that's LC select them all dimension 138 
apply, done. Now all of these will be 138. And that's really all it takes. Now, I think I'll save jump key for a different video because jump key is something that also can be done this way. I'm not 100% sure if you remove these footprint keys, if it still plays the sound on other players' computers. I've never had the chance to test that, so while we're in here, I'm going to remove all footstep animation sounds because I've actually never tried that. And I think it would be really cool to find out if, which again, this is something I'm never going to know if it works because it's not like I can log into two accounts and check. But we're going to remove these footprint keys. What's really funny, if you want to like prank people, um, you can put uh, fire keys in here and you'll get a gunshot sound effect. I don't know if it'll actually shoot your gun, <laughs> but it's still pretty funny to prank people with your mods if you hide things like fire key, which at a later date, I'll go over all of that kind of stuff with you guys. Fire key, reload key, uh, what this footprint key thing actually does, whole nine yards, but there's a whole bunch of stuff. So now if you want to save this, you simply go compile, and we're gonna call this we're gonna call this dot og dot og because it's unmodified ltb force max bones we're not gonna force it um we're gonna leave all this stuff alone because there's really no point in modifying any of this stuff and we're gonna save it <laughs> now this does take quite a fat minute um as you can see here, it, it's chugging along. It's going to freeze. It's going to act like it's frozen. But it has to turn this all into one gigantic file. So as you can see, it's going to go through. It's going to create all this information. And we're going to go from there. And we're going to hope it works because that'd be pretty badass. So now that it's compiled and created a new STM child, holy crap, is it a lot smaller than the original. Huh. Is that just... Wow, it's a lot smaller. I am kind of worried about that. I wonder what's missing. I'm really worried about that. Hold on. We're going to do a second export. And I'm going to leave that whole Max Bones thing. Go Compile. Force Max Bones Pervert. We're gonna actually do all that real quick just to see what file size it comes out as because I've never seen it come out so much smaller. And that kind of worries me. <laughs> I mean, if it comes out the same, it comes out the same. Um, it doesn't really matter. So let me ask you guys this. What tutorial would you want next? Iron sights, um, res chams, came out the same file size. Iron sights, res chams, super knife, or jump key? Do you want me to stay on characters and create jump key? Do you want me to do a weapon mod? Do you want me to do res chams? Because res chams is going to take a lot of learning from me. Um, it's been a long time since I messed with that stuff. Eventually, we'll get into the world of client effects because I never documented doing any of that. But we're going to close this real quick and we're going to inject this into. CA res file. So we need res inject, which you'll find right here. You want to select your res file. We need chars mbody. Add stm child inject. Injection completed. We need to go back to CA. Grab this res new, and this will go in my mods folder, which for some reason is right here. And there we go. So now, thanks to Morpheus, I'm going to start the game with uh, the bypass he gave me. That is, again, like I said, not released yet. 
and we're gonna hope this works. Oh, good, I have my desktop audio muted. I wasn't sure if I did. But we're gonna see if this works. He was talking to me about some, about this exploit that was found in newer Intel CPUs, and my god, am I switching to AMD as soon as possible. So apparently there's a web server that was discovered by um, some security researchers baked into the newer Intel CPUs and it has access to your RAM, your storage. It has access to so much. We are not going to show you guys my username and path, although you'll probably see it anyway. I don't even know what my username and password is. We're just gonna hope this works because I really like that background. I really do. I might extract that just for the fun of it and like make it my wallpaper. Uh, do something with like the animated backgrounds that I have here. Maybe make the world blink. <laughs> wow, there's nobody online. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Well, this won't matter for testing, at least, I hope. Uh, why is there nobody... There is nobody in this. There we go. I guess I gotta play EU. So, I should be able to crouch... It's, my player is broken. What did I do wrong? Jeez. Yeah, I'm just sliding right now. What happened? Can I like, I can see through shit? Yeah, I can't see people. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right. Well. Uh. <laughs> what just happened? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, the fun of modding. I'm not going to upload this. Actually, I might upload this for the funny parts of it. Um, but apparently they fixed V-Jump. Because uh, the camera didn't move. But it might also be because my models are broken. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think I know what happened. I'm not entirely sure. I think I know what happened. So let's see if I can fix this live in a video because this will show you guys what modding is really about. So we're gonna go output, open, and extract. I have a theory on why this happened the way it did. It needs the LTB files. So I have to copy this into here open up model edit which I should have done while I was in here go open the STM child huh that was really interesting So I need to go find crouching again. And we're gonna do all of crouching. Animation, dimension, 138, apply. Oh yeah, it doesn't close when you hit apply. It's really stupid. So. shouldn't need child models here. Interesting. 
like Yeah, this shouldn't be needed. I just realized I changed the jump animation. That's fine. This should be changed too. Cool. All right, so we're gonna compile this again. We're gonna save it, we're gonna compile it, we're gonna re-inject it again, and we're gonna hope it works. <laughs> that was a really interesting uh, scenario. This is how modding goes. I feel like that came out to the same size. Oops. <laughs> came out to the same size. Huh. We're going to try one more thing. One more thing. Because it's my last idea here of why this isn't working. Run it as admin. <laughs> I've had too much caffeine today. I'm going to make this higher, 255. Compile. All right, let's try this. And hope again because this is interesting. <laughs> it should come out around 60 megabytes. It came out a little bigger, but it's still going to be wrong. Let's try it. Oh. Well, actually, yeah, I could do that. Mods, Charizard body, add, CA modding, CA, game, chars, STM child. Inject. OK. Mods, delete. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this will be interesting. They actually used to detect if you had the mod tools open. This is going to be really interesting to see. I'm not sure why it's not working. It should. Let's hope this is it, although it still didn't come out the right size. So I have a, I do have an idea of why. But it's something I'll figure out off of recording, although I'm still going to try this because this is cool. I'm surprised they still allow a password that simple. Oh my god. You know, I haven't even moved away from my computer yet today. I've been sitting at my computer since probably 2 o'clock. 
I was planning on playing The Outer Worlds today. But I didn't. Yep. Hmm. Let's see if I can crouch. Give me Snow Valley. Where is Snow Valley? I want Snow Valley. Nobody plays Snow Valley anymore. I don't know this map. Oh, yeah, I do. I guess they just renamed it. So that still works. It still lowers you. They are doing the... An oh, my God. This is so broken. How far can I go? Uh, it stops me. I mean, obviously other players can see me. So this is kind of pointless. Yeah, see? Well, I'll figure it off out off of recording. I probably won't upload this. But this is just... Actually, no, I will upload this. Because this will show you guys exactly how modding goes sometimes. You try something that used to work and used to be very simple. And it doesn't work anymore for some reason. Um, I'll probably show this video to like Radeon and Morpheus, well, more than likely Radeon, Radeon, or some other modders, and we'll figure it out together. That's how modding works. It's a team effort. And like I've said before, it's been years since I've done these modding things, so this could be a very basic thing that I'm just missing. But we'll figure it out together, and I'll talk to you guys later.